How to register a DBA in Texas. If you're a small business owner in Texas, you might be contemplating the idea of running your business using a name other than its official one. Fortunately, you have the option to use a trading name by registering a DBA. If you're curious about how to get a DBA in Texas or have ever thought about it, but need help knowing where to begin, this piece is here to guard you. Before we dive deeper, remember that you can register an LLC with Zen Business by using my link in the description. How do DBAs work? First and foremost, what does DBA mean? The abbreviation stands for Doing Business As, indicating that you're operating your business using a name other than your official legal name. This legal name could be your given birth name or the name of a company under your management. But the terms used interchangeably with DBAs include trade names, fictional names and assumed names. The government department where you register your trade name will vary based on the type of business you possess. If you're a sole proprietor or part of a general partnership, you should file your documents with the county clerk. For corporation or limited liability companies, the registration process is overseen by the Texas Secretary of State. Before you proceed with your filing DBA paperwork, it's important to consider both the advantages and limitations of obtaining a DBA. DBAs offer you the opportunity to operate your business under an alternate name, facilitate the establishment of bank accounts using a DBA name, ensure compliance with the state regulations that mandate a DBA filing when conducting businesses under a name different from your legal name. Initiating a DBA is a valuable step when setting up your business in Texas. Nonetheless, there are several significant restrictions associated with operating under a trade name in a Lone Star state. These are use of legal name, Texas prohibits the use of your personal birth name as a DBA, use of misleading DBA terminology, DBA essentially functions as a brand identity, unless your business is formally registered as an LLC or corporation, terms of a limited liability company or corporation are not permissible when selecting a DBA. Anonymity. Despite providing an alias for your business, a DBA's records are accessible to the public. Thus, it is incorrect to assume that a DBA can be employed to conceal your identity as the owner or operator of a business. Having a general idea of the potential costs associated with filing your DBA paperwork can be beneficial for effect budgeting. The good news is that obtaining a DBA is not overly expensive. It's advisable to reach out to your county clerk for the most up-to-date information. As of the time of writing this article, you can expect to pay around 25 or an assumed name certificate. Depending on the nature of your business, there might be additional licenses and permits required to operate legally in Texas. These are often mandatory for certain industries and as outlined by federal regulations. The Small Business Administration website provides information on regulatory sectors and their corresponding fees. Start by verifying the availability of your desired name through the state taxable entity search tool. Opting for a name that is truly distinctive ensures a strong brand identity and minimizes the risk of resemblance to existing businesses with similar names. It is important you thoroughly understand the process and location for filing your DBA documentation. These choices are often contingent upon the type of business entity you have. Individuals or partnerships falling under this category must submit their DBA documents in each county where the business maintains an office. If the business operates in counties where it lacks a physical presence in Texas, the DBA filing is necessary. For details regarding forms and fees, reach out to the county's clerk office. To access the contact information for the appropriate county, refer to the state's official website. Entities falling under this corporate structure need to complete Form 503, the assumed name certificate, and submit it to the Taxi Secretary of State, along with a $25 fee. These corporate entities are exempt from filing with a county clerk. Brokers are mandated by the Texas Real Estate Commission to fully establish their DBAs before registering a trade name within their organization. Make sufficient copies of the necessary documents before submitting them. For instance, the assumed name certificate should be completed twice as required by the Secretary of State. For physical submission of your paperwork, you can visit the James L. Ruder Office building in Austin. Alternatively, you have the option to mail the documents to the following address, Secretary of State, PO Box 13697, Austin, Texas 78711 If you prefer to send a fax, you can use the number 512-463-5709, ensuring that you include your payment form. Please note that these procedures and details may change over the time, but it's important to always use the most up-to-date and ensure accurate payment. Once your Texas DBA registration is approved, you can begin conducting business using your authorized trade name. However, it's important to note that validity and ownership of your assumed name have limits. When filing out the application form, you're required to specify the anticipated duration of your DBA ownership up to a maximum of 10 years. Texas law mandates that a new assumed name certificate for your doing business as must be submitted within six months of the expiration of your previous certificate. Failure to do so will result in full feature of your trade name ownership. Keep in mind that laws, documentation and associated fees may change periodically. As of now, the cost of renewing a DBA is $40, but please be aware that these prices are subject to change. An LLC is a specific form of corporate structure that offers owners protection against debts and liabilities. On the other hand, a DBA does not provide any kind of immunity to, to its owners. What does DBA stand for? DBA stands for doing business as, which represents a fictitious or assumed name that business used to register and conduct operations within a specific area. This DBA name might apply to operations within a single city or across multiple counties spanning on one or more states. Where can I obtain a DBA? DBAs are available across the United States. Depending on the state, you might need to file a DBA application through the Secretary of State or provide relevant documents to the county clerk. To learn how to apply for DBA, get in touch with your chosen state for guidance. 
Is there a restriction on the number of DBAs I can have? You're allowed to use multiple DBAs in the options are limitless. However, maintaining well-organized DBAs, their related accounts is advisable to avoid any confusion. What advantages does DBA offer? Having a DBA allows you to conduct business with the specific city, county, or state of registration while adopting a distinct business identity from your original legal name. Additionally, you can establish a bank account under your DBA name. What is the duration of a DBA's validity? To determine whether a renewal is necessary on its due date, it's advisable to consult your state secretary of state or the entity where you submitted a DBA as the duration of validity for a DBA varies according to state regulations. Some states have restrictions while others do not. For instance, New York does not require DBA renewal. Typically, you have approximately five years before needing to renew or extend your DBA in many states.